In this presentation, you will learn five ways you can lead without a leadership role. You might be interested in becoming a leader in your work or demonstrating more leadership skills in your daily life. In this presentation, we have listed five ways you can do so. Be authentic. Authenticity is the ability to be yourself in all your interactions. When you look to become a leader, we often find ourselves trying to copy someone else. You must take the time to discover your leadership skills and the reason why you want to become a leader. The more you will know yourself or be self-aware, the more authentic you will be in your life. Yet leaders often do not take advantage of this discovery and neglect this process of self-awareness. The process of self-discovery can start by writing one's biography, listening to feedback, and even more formal methods such as profiling or personality profiles. Lead yourself to success. One of the most challenging things to do in leadership does not lead others to success, but to lead yourself. It is often less motivating to work on your objectives than those of others. That said, use four simple steps to reach your goal. First, identify your goal. Second, identify the gap between your current reality and your goal. List all the barriers to your goals. Third, list all the options that you have to remove these barriers. Fourth, apply the actions or choices that seem the most appropriate to you. Then repeat from the second step until you reach your goal. Be supportive of others. Any great leader can empower others to be their best. How can you be more supportive of others? A great philosophy to nurture is to try to leave a person in better shape than when the interaction started. Every interaction you have, try to empower the individual in front of you to see their skills, knowledge, and abilities. That way, people will see you as a very supportive person and also someone who is very inspiring to others. Seek to improve. The best leaders are not afraid to ask their team how they could improve. Take the initiative to ask people around you. Seeking feedback from others will require that you welcome feedback that you might not be ready to receive. When you ask others for their opinion, be sure not to be on the defense, reactive, or even worse, attacking them when they say something you don't agree with. You might want to start by asking people that are close to you and then ask friends, colleagues, and even neighbors. You could use a straightforward formula, which is to ask two fundamental questions. What do I do well? What could I do differently? That way, you give your interlocutor a chance to provide you with positive and constructive feedback. Become confident in your decisions. Great leaders are open to the feedback of others, but are also very confident in what they want and don't hesitate to make difficult decisions. You must start developing confidence in what speaks to you and what doesn't. In some ways, it is a bit about following your gut feeling. When it comes to make a decision, try not to think of pleasing others. Make a decision from the heart, one that you know will be best for everyone, but mostly for you especially when it comes to being the leader of your life. It isn't selfish to make a decision when that decision is what motivates or drives you to be the best version of yourself. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.